So in this second video on using Oracle Select AI, we're going to look at some of the other commands or features that we can use uh, when running the AI, which is, you know, again, we're integrating with our large language model. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to make a little parameter change. This is where conversation equals true is, is the one that we want to be able to add in here. And what this allows us to do, or it allows the database to do is keep track of each individual commands and the reports and what's kind of being generated. And so that we can generate some sort of conversational flow. So for example is, is that if we want to run some of our different chats and if this is a bit more of a involved chat and about we get an answer back and we want to kind of explore it in a little bit more detail, who remembers what was kind of asked and said previously. So to enable this, we need to recreate our, our profile. Uh, and once that's done, we just need to re-enable the profile for our different um, examples on that. So the chat allows us to be able to kind of build upon that. The second example is looking at, you know, how we can use the show SQL command. So for example, if we take um, this particular kind of uh, previous statement that we had, you know, how many customers in San Francisco are married, we don't, we don't necessarily have that information within the database. So it comes back with uh, zero customers. But if we want to see is, well, okay, what query did it actually run behind the scenes? So this is something that's useful that, you know, when you're building a, you know, an application, you can start tracking a lot of this information is that, well, it came back with zero, but is that the right number? So what query did it actually run? All right. So what we can do is we can go in and have a look at the bigger picture of the query. All right. And we can actually see what it's actually done. So it's joining uh, customers with countries uh, where country name is equal San Francisco and the marital status is married. Hmm. That doesn't sound right to me. All right. So we should be going in on customers and we need to be looking at their actual location. So this is an example where the LLM is actually generating the wrong SQL for us. It's not necessarily, you know, the, the result is wrong. It's just actually generating the wrong uh, SQL and then that means the result is actually wrong. So this is a way of being able to track things within your environment. You know, so if people say you know things aren't working right or not getting the wrong results, you can actually have a look at the query that's been generated and being able to determine from that whether it's something that we want to be able to ignore or block out or rewrite or rephrase. And, you know, again, using our kind of previous examples, we'll be using these two queries uh, quite a bit, is that here's one where, you know, uh, what is the largest customer by sales? And again, you know, we can go and have a look at, show me the query that you actually ran to do that. What, what are you actually generating to be able to, to do this? Um, and again, you know, when we look at the query kind of in a little bit more kind of detail, we might kind of go, all right, okay, that, that seems fair enough, you know, about what we want to be able to do. Okay, so, you know, this is being able to uh, get that information. So rather than, you know, having, you know, your application developers, you know, developing code to run against your uh, LLM, you know, this is where we can consolidate a lot of this in to one particular place okay now the next two features are kind of a little bit kind of probably a little bit more in the useful phase so this is where we get to narrate the the sequel can you actually give a natural language response to what the data was so you know we could have the previous command that will generate the, the outcomes and then we can have an English language description there to be able to to explain it so like, we know like you know the zero customers in San Francisco is you know not correct but like you know we get that description for it but if we kind of go for the sales one is we, we get something that's a little bit more kind of descriptive on what we want to be able to get and this is the way we can uh, enrich our maybe our reporting environment or applications to be able to explain the data in a little bit more kind of a, of an interesting way. The final example is using the explain SQL. And what explain SQL is, well, we've seen how we can generate the SQL, but can you actually explain the SQL command to me in kind of more natural language, right? So when we go in and have a look at this one, 
if we just expand that out, just scroll across because it's quite big, is well, we get the the SQL command that was run previously, but we also get you know a bit of a description here. So again, maybe depending on your development environment, whether you're going for end users or you're going for data analysts, these are things that can actually help to kind of make it a lot more of a, a, a richer environment um, uh, for our users. And this is where maybe when we start seeing a lot of things about AI applications, you know, this is where we can start building in features uh, like all of this uh, within it. So that comes to the end of the second demonstration of AI. In the next video, I'll give an example of how metadata plays a very important role in making our queries and our interactions with the LLMs uh, much better.